All right, so since that I had some uh, power supply related issues when I was benching the uh, 9900K plus 2080 Ti Kimpin on LN2, I uh, started to look uh, something else to uh, fix the uh, power supply configuration issue that I had. So uh, I just went out and uh, ordered the uh, largest uh, power supply that is available on the market, which is still the uh, Superflower uh, Leadex 2000 plus. 2000 watt uh, platinum uh, eight pack edition. So this is a two kilowatt power. I mean, this is a two kilowatt uh, power supply. This is only available to the uh, well, like the EU market, and uh, I mean, the only parts in the world that use the uh, 230 volt uh, mains power. So this is not available in the US or Japan where they have the uh, 110 volt uh, mains uh, power, as uh, the, uh, the uh, amount of current you would need with a voltage of 110 volt would be so high that it's uh, kind of risky and you would have to have like really thick, like super thick uh, uh, mains power cable so that it's not really uh, within spec anymore. So uh, these kind of power supplies are only available in 230 volt mains. So uh, this is the largest power supply you can uh, find in the whole market. The uh, like the next options after this are like 600, 1600 watt and 1500 watt power supplies. So this is a great step from Superflower. Uh, they now uh, in the last Computex in uh, Computex 2019 they also demoed the 2.5 kilowatt version of this power supply. Uh, but many guessed that it would never go retail. But I asked from uh, Superflower themselves uh, that will it. Go retail and they said yes like at the end of this year or maybe next winter we will see but I'm sure that that power supply will not be cheap so uh, this power supply cost uh, 380 euros here in Finland so uh, it is definitely not cheap but when I was uh, Google uh, when I was searching around and it was actually more expensive in many places in Europe like 450 so it is definitely not a cheap power supply <laughs> But that's the only way to go, so I decided to buy this. I will be using this power supply uh, in parallel with the uh, Seasonic Prime 1300 watt Platinum. And this only shows you that uh, these power supplies are really needed. Uh, many, many would say me, or many would tell me that why do you need a 1300 watt power supply for just one CPU, mainstream CPU and a single graphics card? Well, we saw I couldn't run a higher GPU voltage than 1.45. Uh, with only that power supply and uh, that is not enough to uh, reach the best possible clocks the Greek guys the Greek uh, guys uh, overclocked their 2080 Ti to 2.8 gigahertz so that definitely requires very large uh, power supply setup in order to run uh, anything like that and I really want to retry uh, my 2080 Ti uh, with I mean properly so uh, I really want to achieve that uh, like 2.65 to 2.7 gigahertz core clock and so uh, we will see so uh, yeah I will be using this uh, in parallel with the 1300 watt Seasonic with a power supply adapter that connects the both 24 pins together and then it just connects to the, uh, the motherboard so that way I can always be sure that the power supplies will be turned on uh, simultaneously of course you could just do it the uh, more simple way by just forcing the second power supply to be constantly on but I think that that is uh, an easier way so uh, let's uh, unbox this uh, 2 kilowatt power supply and, let, and uh, see what it comes with and how it looks like so it is definitely a large unit this box is really really heavy so we can just see the uh, both the uh, super power uh, butterfly logo there and also the 8 pack branding there um, 90 plus platinum certified 230 volts EU so it, state, it states it right there 94% uh, plus at 50% load so uh, if you just take a look at the back side uh, so uh, here we can see that it supports all Intel and AMD multi-core CPU, CPUs and so on so this this kind of power supply is really meant for the like the high-end and workstation builds this is not uh, power supply for 
like mini ITX builds or micro ITX builds with only a, 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 a stock processor with just one, uh, like, with just a single uh, low end graphics card. This is really for the like high end overclocking scenarios or if you have a really high end workstation build with the 28, 2080 core Xeon or 32 core Threadripper with one or two very high end graphics cards. That is, this is a power supply for a rig like that. So as I said, these power supplies are really needed. There are scenarios for, uh, there are scenarios where you need a power supply like this. If there wasn't, then why did I just bought? Then why would I? Why would I have just bought this power supply myself? So uh, there is a real reason why I bought this power supply, and it's uh, uh, very, uh, and it's and the same reason uh, exists in uh, other situations as well. So. Uh, the uh, dimensions are, measure, uh, are mentioned here, but we can just look at the power supply first before we check those. So, uh, yeah, 92% uh, efficiency at 20% load, 94 at 50% load, and 90% uh, efficient at 100% uh, load. So at 2 kilowatts, it's 90% efficient. But power supplies in general are always uh, the most efficient. Uh, the most efficient at around like 50% load so uh, the optimal uh, power uh, the optimal situation for this power supply would be around like uh, 1 kilowatt uh, constant load but yeah so uh, yeah weight around 3 kilograms they just uh, advertise one of all the parts used in this uh, uh, power supply so uh, 105 celsius Japanese capacitors uh, I'm not sure if it, if this has like a semi-passive fan, but that is not really important for me. I don't really mind if it. Uh, I don't really I don't really mind about the uh, power supply fan in general in terms of noise. So uh, yeah, I think without further ado, let's get this uh, box opened and see what's inside the box. So I think that is just your, I don't know, guide or just overall information about the uh, power supply. Bag, I think these are for, maybe these are for the cables, but it's empty the way it comes. <sighs> then of course, here are all the cables, we can go through them uh, after checking out the unit itself. So that's how the actual unit itself looks like. You can see the 8-pack uh, branding at the center of the uh, uh, integrated fan. So uh, you can see that the whole unit is definitely very large, so it will not fit any uh, very small uh, system build. So uh, when looking at the measurements, the box states that it's 220 millimeters in uh, length. So uh, from the uh, uh, AC uh, power side or where the AC power switches from the to the uh, actual uh, side where all the uh, cable connections are and then uh, the width is uh, 15 centimeters or 150 uh, millimeters and uh, the and it's uh, 86 uh, millimeters in depth or thickness so those are the measurements so it does it really doesn't fit uh, in just any case so you have to uh, look around and see uh, in uh, which case this will fit into as uh, this is a very large unit this is larger than the uh, uh, Corsair HX1200i that I had and I think it's a little bit larger than the Seasonic as well so uh, just to uh, just keep in mind the uh, large measurements of this unit if you decide to buy this you can see the warranty sticker there so they yes they will not allow you to un uh, unbox this unit but of course why would you have to so uh, there's re not really need for that so there's really re reason why to cover the uh, that with warranty so yeah of course it's a fully modular unit as any power supply at this price range uh, price range would be so you can really get really nice uh, uh, tight uh, cable management in your case and uh, it's also much more convenient when you can just choose which cables you want to use and you don't have to use all at once always so uh, 
Yeah, nothing at this side of the power supply uh, as well, so there's like no uh, uh, power button to uh, activate semi-passive mode on the fan or anything like that. So uh, that is not important for me. And on uh, this side, it can find all the uh, like important technical details of the unit. So this is a single rail uh, power supply. It's very important for uh, benchmarking purposes as uh, we want the biggest possible current at 12 volts because uh, we well we don't want uh, any too uh, like we don't want too tight uh, overcurrent limits which I was facing with the uh, Seasonic unit uh, so uh, so this can supply 166 amps on the 12 volt rail so that means around 2000 watts so that is definitely uh, plenty to say the least so uh, so that's the unit there so let's now let's check all the cables that it comes with so uh, so as for the uh, power supply power cables apart from the uh, 230 volt uh, mains power cable as well as the uh, motherboard 24 pin you get two uh, 8 pin CPU EPS power uh, cables so these are uh, just 8 pin power cables which you can split in two so uh, these split into two uh, uh, four pins just like that uh, for better compatibility then uh, you get uh, in total of nine VGA PCI Express uh, power cables so you can hook up a maximum of nine VGA power cables from the uh, power supplies end and also the uh, PCI Express power cables come in uh, two types you have these more standard like uh, 1 8 pin to uh, 8 plus uh, 6 pin uh, VGA power cable so uh, you just hook the uh, other end to the power supply and you can then hook uh, 6 plus 2 plus 6 to the actual uh, graphics card and also you get these more like like simple uh, 8 pin to 8 pin or 8 pin to 6 plus 2 pin VGA power cables so what what is the nice thing about this is that if you are running a single very high-end graphics card like 2080 Ti 1080 Ti, 980 Ti on LN2, you can really split the load uh, on the power supply to different connectors and cables uh, much better when you do something like this. So you can hook up one uh, graphics card 8-pin to one 8-pin on the power supply, then second 8-pin to another connector, and third 8-pin to even to a third connector on the power supply. So that will help that the uh, uh, the actual cables and connectors themselves do not get that hot when the card is drawing a lot of power like 900 to uh, 1200 watts in worst case scenario and it holds it also pre helps to prevent any uh, uh, safety features like uh, if there was OCP per connector like on the HX 1200i this uh, does help that I mean to avoid that problem more so uh, if you uh, have if you run a very high end card like that it's really advised to uh, just use one uh, power supply connector per uh, 8 pin so uh, but yeah you have uh, plenty of uh, PCI Express power cables so this power supply is really uh, ready for a multi GPU configuration then uh, apart from the uh, PCI Express power cables you get two uh, Molex uh, power cables and uh, four uh, SATA power, ca uh, power cables for your uh, storage and so on and uh, lastly you get two uh, molex to uh, uh, floppy drive uh, power adapters these aren't really uh, that much needed anyways but they still uh, uh, include them and uh, apart from the cables you get a simple screw set for the uh, power supply unit so uh, that's how the uh, uh, cables look like so uh, even when this is a 2000 watt uh, power supply unit you only get two uh, CPU 8-pin uh, power cables. Of course, this, is, this isn't that new uh, uh, power supply unit anymore. So if you have been following the scene and you have seen those uh, Intel Xeon 28-core uh, uh, buffer boards, they often have uh, more uh, CPU power uh, uh, slots than just two. So, for example, the EVGA uh, SR3 has uh, four 8 pin power, co uh, power connectors, but it on only has a single 24 pin uh, motherboard connector. And uh, the funny thing, is, obviously, is that there is no uh, uh, power supply on the market that has more than two uh, 8 pin CPU power connectors. So, uh, 
the only way to run all those four would have would be to unite two of these uh, power supplies uh, as one then connect the uh, both 24 pins together and connect that to the motherboard but they uh, do work well enough with just single uh, power supply and two uh, eight pin uh, power cables so that is uh, not really needed but it's just there what you could use so i'm looking forward to see when they uh, bring out newer uh, large units like the 2.5 kilowatt uh, super flower unit and also the uh, the uh, upcoming evga 2.3 kilowatt unit which they demoed uh, quite a, quite a while ago that should have four eight pin uh, power cables so let's look forward to those and see how they look like when they come out in the future but yeah that's how the overall unit looks like so this power supply has a five-year warranty i think it could be more like the uh, c sonic unit has more than 10 years i think and the corsair hx 1200i has a 10-year warranty so uh, as you don't really have to uh, change power supply that often i think they could have just uh, included a 10-year warranty because we do if you buy a power supply like this it's a really long-term investment so you could use a power supply like this for 10 to 15 years if it doesn't break or if there isn't like a radical change in the uh, hardware that is being released like what we saw with the original Haswell CPUs when many old power supplies couldn't run those CPUs due to the very low uh, uh, idle voltages from the uh, uh, power saving features so uh, a really expensive power supply like this could last you many many years to come so yeah that's maybe the only minus about this power supply the uh, relatively short warranty but it's still great if you ask me so uh, that's how the uh, superflower 2000 watt uh, leadx platinum looks like if you have any comments or questions about this unit then please write them down below and uh, check the uh, product page of this power supply and let, let me know what you think but that's the uh, uh, end of this video i'll be using this soon with the uh, 2080 ti and other uh, hardware on ln2 so uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, see you next time